Hi. Hello. Me again. Hairy again face, you know, the usual. And uh, also the very low quality fact that the audio is being recorded from um, earbuds. I re just need to move this necklace because I just realized it might go against it. I hope the audio is either at least at the low quality that it was yesterday or maybe even slightly better. Um, we can hope for that, but it's less likely. Um, but yeah, the camera's currently balancing on top of a tissue box. That is my life. Literally, that is my life. Attempted effort, failure, and uh, a sad but semi-practical result that uh, gets the end result, but... Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. I need to. Anyways, so, today... I wasn't really sure what I wanted to talk about. Okay, May. See, I have a cat. Okay, her name is May. She's a very interesting characteristic person. And uh, let me show you. May. Okay, she doesn't want to be seen right now. Um, May Bees. That's her nickname. Anyways, let's move past my cat. Um, yeah, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about today, but I figured it would be good to keep continuing like, putting up so so at least people like anyone that watches this sees that I'm actually here, because I am. Uh, I'm very surprised that someone is. Someone left a comment, and I was very thankful for that. Thank you so much to who left the comment. Um, I have a horrible thing with memorizing names, but I love to reply to it, and I really appreciate it, because sometimes it, like, for the most part, although I haven't, I have barely anyone watching, and, but I do have views and stuff, like, it feels like it's fake just because it's, like, I don't know who's there, so it's nice to know someone's watching it, but I'm used to talking to myself, so let's continue with that. I, like I said, I wasn't sure, but I was thinking of doing a story time for today, and I have some story times, so they're kind of like two story times. Um, I'll probably do one let's see, and see how long it is, but um, yeah, so these are my autistic story times of times where I had no idea what was going on, but was very concerned. So this one time I was in the car with my mother and she was driving me somewhere. I, I don't remember exactly where, but we were just at a stoplight and we were in a fairly um, calm, excuse the jingling, that's my cat, a fairly calm um, suburban area. Not usually people, like, though of course there's crimes, different residential areas are like better than others, but this one in particular, when we were driving and seeing many things that would happen, except this time, somebody decided to have extreme road rage. And I'm not kidding when I say I was sitting in the car and I look out and there's a car in front of us. We're at a stoplight, okay? So there's a car in front of us, then there's us, then there's a car behind us. And the situation was kind of odd because the guy in the front seemed to have a lot of road rage for the person behind us, which is kind of weird because they were behind us. I don't know if something else happened. Now, me being autistic, I kind of memorized and wrote down the license plate, and that was because this guy decided somehow at this stoplight that he was angry enough to be like, you know what? I need to commit something, a very violent crime. He gets out of the car holding a fucking brick like like a brick and I, my question is why was he carrying around a brick like it's already odd that he's going and doing this but it's like why does someone drive around with a fucking brick like are you just like okay um you see today i expect my road rage, road rage to be at a, about eight out of ten and i think having a brick with me would be an appropriate method because if I had a knife, you know, that might equal to manslaughter if things go wrong. Like, what is the mentality of carrying around a brick? It wasn't like he had uh, a car full of, like, construction stuff. No, it was just a regular car. With a, He just randomly brought out a brick. And he goes over to the other person's car and decides that it's a good idea to smash the brick into the man's um, side mirror on the left side. So he smashes the mirror. The guy gets out, and I'm like, what? I, I don't know what's going on, but why is there broken stuff? And my mother's sitting there like, uh, I don't know what to do. She, she uh, kind of reacted like really frantically a bit because it, this was happening fairly fast, but it was just kind of like hard and ridiculous. But me, I was like, okay, this is 
bad and I watched way too much True Crime and I was like, probably report this to a judge. But it was like, all right, it, there's no other way to like tell it because I don't know their names or anything like that. But I copied down one of the license plates. Um, I believe it was the one that decided to bring out a brick out of nowhere because, you know, or maybe it's just normal to carry around a brick and I've missed out on that. I have no idea. That is the most bizarre thing to me is that who carries around a brick in their car? Like I get self-defense, maybe a knife or something. I even have like nunchucks, a little padded kind in my car, but a brick? Might as well have a baseball bat. I don't, I don't know. Maybe this is just cynical side of me thinking of like what's the best version of a weapon. But a brick hit me. Sorry, she was almost at my oil paints. But anyways, but like a brick is kind of ridiculous to me. So yeah, that happened. That w that was very in interesting, uh, in a bad way. And I mainly the two things that I'm confused. Like I've said, the brick. And the second thing is like I don't know what happened before this point reached where he was like angry enough to do this the point that confuses me also is that we were in between them so the car was behind us and it's odd it's it's as if like he was so angry that it carried on to the point where there were people between them but he decided it's worth it to get out of the car when he first got out of the car i was like oh a fight's gonna begin and you know it did but i did not expect to have that type of situation but anyways i've dragged that on way too much so there's that story time, my autistic story time, where I had no idea what was going on, and I was just like, write down license plate. And I know that these type of things happen to other people, and people will do the same things. I am categorize these things as autistic story times because I'm autistic, and I'm presenting it from the perspective of someone who is autistic, so this isn't taking away from anything that other people experience, or pretending this is a special snowflake experience. No, it's just the way I would describe this type of experience. Um, I, um, and then the, okay, so I have other story times that I want to see if people like, or whoever, like, likes this, if somebody watches this, in which case, thank you, because I don't know if people actually like this, but, um, yeah, if, if people, if you guys, um, like it, and you want more of it, just leave a comment, or thumbs up, I, I, I don't know what those things, I don't know what I'm doing, but I, really love seeing comments because I appreciate the response to it and knowing that sentient beings are watching this and I'm probably looking at the wrong place on the phone by the way but yeah I'm, I, I don't know how to do that I can barely make eye contact whatever anyways yeah I really love seeing the comments because I like to reply or heart them I think this I, I don't I don't know it's what the heart thing comes up but it shows me at least that people are enjoying it and Although I don't um, consider it appropriate to have rude language and all that, I am very much open to critical analysis from productive perspective. So if anyone has that type of idea, that's fine. Just as long as it's presented in a respectful manner. And I really, really would love to have comments. And thank you to whoever does, because that means a lot to me. Now the next story time that I was thinking of was Again, these story times are kind of short because they happened a while ago and it's hard to remember all the details or all the details of some of them are private because they involve other people and I can't like just say explain an extra about roads and stuff like that but the next story time that I was thinking I, might, I thought about adding it to this one but we're already at like what, eight minutes or something and I don't edit so <laughs> maybe not but the next one was about the time is going is if you guys want to comment like this or something or maybe I'll just randomly do it I don't know is about the time that um, an Uber driver thought I was a prostitute, myself and a friend, and uh, attempted to proceed. Not like assaulted, but like attempted to um, ask about monetary aspects of it. But I'll leave it at that so it's not too, um, too much given away. That's it's a short one. I'll probably combine it with something else. But... Yeah, so that's the next one. It's pretty interesting. It's one of the experiences that I have that I think is a lot of, like, one of the craziest things because it's, like, an Uber driver just being like, yeah, hey, you prostitute, like, what gave you that idea? Why are you seeing that? And if you're an Uber driver, why the hell would you bring that up? Things in life are just confusing, like the road rage and all that, and I don't understand any of it. But 
I feel like a, just like a, an observant person from the outside, and these are the ways that I interpret things, and I felt like sharing it, but thanks for listening for whoever did, and comment if you like it. I don't know where thumbs up does, but do it, because at least I think it, at least it'll show me if you like the video, and uh, any critical analysis is appreciated as long as it is presented in a respectful manner, but thank you to everyone that has been watching this. hope to hear from you guys and uh, you guys will hear from me. I never know how to end these things and I'm a rambling person so I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> Bye.